Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of my first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge. To start off, let me go through the rules for the challenge since there's a few different types of Nuzlocke. Rule number one is if a Pokemon faints, then I have to release it immediately. Rule two, if I wipe out, that's game over regardless if I have more Pokemon stored in the PC. Rule three is I have to give a nickname to every Pokemon I add to my team. This will get me more attached to each of them and make it more sad when one of them inevitably die. Rule 4, I can only catch one Pokemon on each route, it has to be the first po Pokemon I see, and I only get one try to catch one per route. Rule 5, all Pokemon in the game are completely randomised, this includes all battles, legendaries, as well as in-game trade Pokemon that are available throughout the game. So I could start with a Shuckle, or I could start with a Mewtwo, it is purely down to look. And the final rule is no cheating allowed, obviously. So no reloading if a Pokemon dies, I have to just suck it up and start the run again. The only modification I'm allowed to the cord game is 2 times speed, so the videos don't last too long when I get to EXP grind portions of the run. Now with all of that out of the way, let's get on with the challenge, I hope you all enjoy. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I've last done this look. It has been a while. Okay, now, bear in mind, I have never actually beaten a Nuzlocke. I have had two attempts at a Nuzlocke in my life, and... One time I got to the Elite Four and completely wiped, and the second time was a run I was doing with a friend where we were competing, but we only really got to like the first gym and then stopped playing. So, Nuzlocke-wise, I am very rough in terms of... Oh my god, he has a Tyranitar. Well, it, it's good to see the randomizers working. Uh, yeah, this will be a completely randomized Pokemon Nuzlocke, so I can get completely sh shafted, and my first Pokemon can end up being like a C dot. Or I could get completely lucky and my first Pokemon could be a Mewtwo, we are not sure yet. Okay, for attempt one, we're just gonna call our guy at at attempt one, I guess. There's our boy Atom One. So your name is Atom One. Hey you. This is my grandson, I've completely forgot what his name is. Well my guy, his name is quite clearly uh Um um, uh, maybe a couple of these, maybe a couple of those. Yep, that, that seems pretty good. Where's, where's my grandson's name? <laughs> oh yeah, his name is Julian! And so we begin. Uh, beautiful. I feel like we're going to be seeing this uh, the bedroom quite a few times before, um, <laughs> before this run is over. Alright, what we're gonna get is our start. Let's see if we can be really lucky on the first run and have a nice smooth journey for the whole thing. I always get concerned with this that the randomizer hasn't worked, because the randomizer is very finicky, where sometimes it will only run randomize certain parts of the game and not all of the game. So I, I'm hoping it has fully randomized everything. Jade, semicolon, dot, female, female, female. Ah, be patient, Jade. <laughs> It's time for me to pick a Pokemon. Okay, is it randomized? Okay, um... Wait, it's showing me a Crobat, but it's saying C dot is, um... The Pokemon. Is it a Crobat or is it a C dot? Uh... Drowsy Lotad. Oh, we have a very big problem here. Articuno or Dratini? Oh my god, if it's an Articuno, I basically win the run, but is it a Dratini? Dratini's very bad in its first evolution, because I believe all it knows is rap, so we could white out incredibly. But Articuno would absolutely smoke everything. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Receive the Articuno, it's it's an Articuno boys win. Do you want to give a nickname to Articuno? Oh my god, we're starting with an Articuno. There are 600 Pokemon in this randomizer and we get an Articuno as our starting choice. Fun fact, I've never actually used Articuno in a team, so this is going to be my first ever time actually using Articuno in Bell. I really hope it actually knows an attacking move to start. Wow, um, what do we call this adorable boy or girl? <laughs> yeah, seems good. Okay, wait, so what did he get? A Drowsy. Well, that turns into a Hypno, that will be quite a problem. Let's have a look. How you doing, cold? Ice flying type, wow. Nice even stats across the board as well. Races for <laughs> PP usage, that is gonna come in such handy. Icicle Spirit Barrage. 
10 power, sharp icicles are fired at the foe, it strikes 2 to 5 times. Okay, so basically like Fury Swipes. Round objects are held at the foe to strike 2 to 5 times. Okay, so we have two attacks that both hit 2 to 5 times. That is pretty s solid overall. You really want to fight Jake? A drowsy. Okay, coming out cold. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh yeah, this is the the remake where there's a lot of tutorial hints early on. It's incredibly nice. Okay, oh please. I'm using an Atacuna if I take... You basically give like an atom bomb to an eight-year-old. It has Metal Claw for its first attack. That could be a problem. Let's try Barrage up. A bit better. Okay, this is going to be a very slow early game thinking about it because Articuno will level up ridiculously slow since it's a legendary Pokemon. Ooh, it's super effective against me as well. That's a problem. Okay, be completely safe and use the 100% accuracy Icicle Spear. 180 XP. Did not even level up in the first battle. This is going to take a while. Uh, to be fair, if he got first pick, we would be dead because he would have 900% shows Articuno and there is no way we're beating the Elite Four if this guy's heading it up with an Articuno. Okay, from this part on, we will be using two times speed just because I feel like we will be doing 100 plus attempts at this <laughs> since I've never actually beat a no 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 no, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be very hard to grind if the Pokemon around here are gonna be stuff like a big Okay, Akuna, let's run. A hey, Shuppet, so that seems like that'll be a bit easier, right? Yeah, it's a lot easier to grind on, okay. There's gonna be a lot of grinding in this run, I'm, I'm imagining. Okay, I can insta-kill the Shuppet as long as I hit five times. Our first level of the run. Two or three into every single stat. Articuno may level up slow, but the stats are going to be going up at a considerable rate. Good, good. So I believe for the rules of the Nuzlocke, um, I'm only catching Pokemon after I receive Pokeballs. Any Pokemon I see currently will not count. Only when I have Pokeballs will the Pokemon count. And then I have to catch the first Pokemon I find on every route. I believe that was the rules of the Nuzlocke. It's been a while. Wow, a doo-doo gun. Um, yeah, let's not try and fight that. <laughs> we are not strong enough for those kind of Pokemon yet. We need an actual good attacking move. At the minute, we just have very small 1-2 to two damage little spit-off. We need, like, wing attack or ice beam or something. Do we have Pokeballs now? We do have Pokeballs now. So the first Pokemon we see, we have to try and catch. Otherwise, we're not going to have Pokemon. Come on, there are Vaporeons on this route. Um, I'd say we just eat a Pokeball at it and pray at this point. We can't really injure this with an Articuno. Uh, everyone has Spitball attacks early on, it seems. Okay, I'm gonna pray this doesn't kill it, otherwise we're not having a Pokemon. Ah. Well, that was our attempt at the first route. To be fair, I don't see Articuno really learning a move, since it's meant to really spawn at level like... 50, I don't really see it learning anything. Alright, let's try and catch our Pokemon on Route 22. A Hoot Hoot. Uh, try and barrage it. Oh god, please don't kill it. Okay. We might have a... An, it's, a it, it's a second flying type, so it's, I wouldn't really want this, but... It's either this or nothing. Okay. Um, we have a Hoot Hoot and an Articuno. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, well, welcome to the party, bird. Let's go get you healed up. Well, here's bird. Um, prevent sleep, that could be cool. Uh, relatively even stats. Bit higher special defense and speed. Peck and barrage again. Why is everyone just... G -g -g How come everyone seems to be getting barrage at the start? Switch train the uh, hoot hoot. That seems like the best way to go about this. Come on, Colt. Okay, you do a lot of damage to this Nidorina. Okay, I was going to say we might be strong enough to handle the Vaporeon now, but I don't think we're going to be. Yeah, and I don't really want to let it hit me with the dig. Ah, uh, Bellossom. Okay, intriguing. I don't think I've actually fought one of these before in any of the Pokemon games. 
Did it give you XP? Surprisingly, yes. Surprisingly quite a bit. Okay, three more attack. This is very nice. To be fair, Bird, you could probably handle that on your own. You should be good, right? What is Frenzy Plant? Ooh, that hurt. Okay. Come on, Bird, you got this. Yeah. Good, good job, Bird. And a level. You're so much easier to level up than that, than that Did not seem like, from what I skipped there, it was getting much attack or defense. I really hope I didn't just see what I thought I saw, but I swear it's attack and defense without increasing. Good critical hit, Bird. You are a nice Pokemon. Okay, what stats are you actually getting, Bird? Wow, it's special attack's not going up at all. Okay, it's stat increase is minimal. Attack, defense, and special attack are terrible. Okay, Bird's not great, but we could always overlevel a little bit, so that might be what ends up happening. I want to fight our rival, but I'm very scared of what the rival might have now, because he usually does have a second Pokemon, so if he throws out like a Dialga or like a Palkia or like Minute or something, then we are actually just dead. Ooh, 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 that is painful. That is more painful than I thought it was going to be. Switch out. <laughs> what is Tail Glow? Special attack, Sharply Rose. Okay, let's try Icicle Spear. Come on, Akuno, you're a legendary. <laughs> no. This Pelipper has is coming in with some smoke. Good job again, Bird. Okay, stats going up a bit better. Birdland Air Cut up. Very good, Bird. Good, Bird. Uh, okay, try it. What is Octazooka? Try Air Cutter. I don't trust this. I do not trust this at all. Risking it. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't be making any of those sorts of risks. Gain zero attack. Okay, your, your stats are going up very slowly. Okay, I want to get Bird to level 8 and then Cold, maybe to level 9, and then we might take on our rival. Ooh, hoo, hoo, now you hit some numbers, Bird. Now we're cooking with some oil. Good stuff, Bird. Wow, that would have been cool to get. I'll run away just because I don't want to get poisoned, but that would have been so cool to get. Pseudo Wudo. Good critical hit, Articuna. There are a lot of Pokemon in this first patch, I guess. But even 77 EXP is not a lot for Articuna. Hello again, Pseudo Wudo. Twice in a row. This one has much higher defense than the last one. Doesn't matter though, because we hit four times. Oh. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we're going back to the Pokemon set. Okay, do not mess with the pseudo -Udo, apparently. Wow, okay, that is why we level up Articuno. We do not want that to get a critical hit and wipe Articuno out of our team, because then we would be left with a Hoot Hoot. And I don't think Hoot Hoot, although I love Hoot Hoot, I don't think it is going to last the game on its own. Dugong should be the one to level us up. Um, okay, I was not expecting the minimal damage on Dugong. I'm feeling good about fighting my rival now. I feel like with this team, we could fight the rival. The level 9 Articuno should be able to fight whatever he has, unless he has a legendary of his own, in which case probably not gonna really be able to do a whole lot against it. Okay, Sudowoodo after last time, no. <laughs> Okay, that should get us to level 10. Yes, it does. Very nice. Our first double-digit Pokemon. Still getting twos across the board, which is good. No new attacks still. Okay, that could be a very big problem. We have a 15 damage move with not full accuracy and a 10 damage move. Regardless if it hits like a few times, it's not going to really do any damage. I want to end the episode with fighting my rival and catching a new Pokemon. This is a nice short episode to start the series off. This should come out along the time with the other Tailless as well. Uh, let's grab the item up here. I believe there was one, wasn't there? No? Could have sworn there was an item up here. Huh. Okay, now we just pray to RNG Jesus that we uh, don't get pulverated. Arrival. <coughs> Would want a battle. Okay, I think we got a bit lucky here. He has a cast wall. 
Let's hit it with a nice crossbow. Okay, we don't do much damage, but I'm assuming cast form won't either. We just need to get lucky and hit more than three or four times each time. Okay, it also has a very annoying, well, not, ain't annoying, but a very slow attack. Uh, yeah, let's hit with a higher damage move if we can. Good old barrage. Doesn't really do any more than Icicle Spear, to be fair. Hit four times, that's fine. Oh, hits us in return. Cast form does considerably more damage than we we do. Oh, it's also hitting many times, which is very bad. Okay, do a hundred accuracy icicle spear. Try and finish it now. We should be all good. Down goes cast form. Some solid exp there. That is nice. I will not change Pokemon at all. Drowsy. What you've got, Drowsy? Please don't have learned, like, Confusion or Sleep or anything yet. Please just be a nice easy one. Good critical hit, cold. Hit four times, good, good. Metal Claw. Isn't that super effective against us? The answer is yes, but it still doesn't have very good stats. This is a special attacker, and he is using f physical attacks right now. So we should be good. Come on, Cold, get another good crit. Don't want you getting critted as well, and dying. Come on! Okay, we're good. This is a very good start to the run so far. Cold gains yet another level. The powerhouse is getting even stronger. I just need... Even, like, wing attack or, like, tackle will be good right now. Isn't there an item up here? I've randomized all the items on the, on the floor as well, so we could get some spicy stuff. What we got? Wow. Wow. What is this run? <laughs> there is actually no way. That is incredible. An Articuno and an EXP share is my first Pokemon and first item. Wow, this look is actually crazy. I kind of want to end it there. I don't actually think we're. I don't think we're gonna top that. I just. I don't see us topping this. We have a very high statted cold, with bad attacks but good stats. So it's probably not gonna get insta killed and die. And then we have a all right stat bird. Which can't be put to sleep, and actually has a decent attack setup. And then we just found an EXP share, so now I can just grind cold and bird at the same time. Without needing to risk bird. Yeah, I'd say we, we, we could probably just end the first episode off it. I, I don't think we're going to get a better end to the episode. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed the first episode of the Nuzlocke. It is, as I said, a short episode just to start the season, the um, series off. I will go until I beat Pokemon Fire Reds. If I do white out, the series will continue. I will obviously just start again from scratch. Uh, I really hope I do clean this on my first ever try, because this is just a phenomenal start, and I don't think any future runs will be a better start than an Articuno and an EXP share. Um... But anyway guys, that'll about do it for this video. Uh, this should come out around the time of the Pokemon tier lists. So episode 1 or 2 of the tier list should also be out on the channel going along with this. If not, then it will come out towards the end of February. It depends how long it takes me to edit this together along with all the other projects I get going. Um, if you guys want to see me do more challenge runs, then be sure to follow me on Twitch. I do regular challenge runs there. We are currently wrapping up, or have wrapped up by this comes out. Uh, the Spider-Man without swinging run. The VODs of that are also on the channel in a unlisted playlist. Uh, after the Spider-Man No Swinking Challenge is done, we will be moving on to a um, Skyrim run. A Skyrim playing with only a one-hand run. So I'm only allowed one hand on the controller and one hand in the game. It'll be a one-handed run across the board. And yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching my first ever uh, episodic challenge run, actually, on, on the channel. Um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video, but for now, peace.